Okay guys, so as I promised you, the Naginata. Today I'm gonna to show you a few techniques. It's gonna be like a teaser just for the Instagram, as I promised. It's already almost 12 midnight. Still a minute before. I promised to do it today, so I stand for my words. And let's go. This is called Yoko Giri. Okay, so before we get into the techniques, I want to explain a little bit about the Naginata in terms of fighting. First of all, this part is from wood, okay? And you have a little bit of supporters for metal, and some fittings, and here you have the tsuba, the guard, then you have the habaki, and then the sword is very old already, but good enough for the demonstration. So the blade actually goes in here, and continue in the real Nagina, they will continue and there's going to be the tongue and there might be two bamboo fitting in a normal uh, Naginata and so the blade is pretty long and strong and actually the Naginata was mainly against horse riders so when the horse rider is riding the horse and he's trying to attack with his touch with his long sword against the, the walking soldiers right the running soldiers, so the, those with the Naginata were able to cut the horse rider and fight with them while they're on the horse. So you can stab him or you can chop the horse leg. And then when the samurai falls, you stab him from the other side, slash him and all that. So that gave many options in terms of fighting in a long range fighting with the Naginata. Another thing about the naginata is that you can actually hold the naginata in many different ways. You can hold it so the blade will face outward. You can hold it when the face blade inward, forward, or backward. You see, this is backward. And it can also be forward. I'm putting a little angle so you can really see. So that's very different in terms of fighting because when I'm holding it this way, okay, I can come out and strike forward or I can, for example, come and strike from down to top, from the other way around. Then from here, I can actually stab with the tip. So it's a very special uh, way. And also I can block and cut right away. So this uh, weapon gives you many, many options. Of course, because the long stick, I can also move it freely. And also I can do freely turns, which usually weren't that common, but can be applied with the uh, Most of the movement in the old style were big, steady, and firm, because you are uh, facing uh, many opponents in the battlefield, and you have to cover a long range. So you can actually run with the Nginata and cut to different areas, and stab, use your legs as well, and all kind of stuff. It'll be easier to show against an opponent, but in general, this weapon is a very interesting weapon. And in the next vlog, in the vlog number uh, 11, I will cover in more details uh, the different strikes, the blocks, the steps, and some free motion. And then I'll also show the Typhoon Shin Wei, which is a bit different how to manipulate the Naginata in a tough machine style. Okay guys, so all the best to you, and good night, and tough machine spirit. I'll see you on the next vlog of the Naginata. Thanks for watching.